Did I just buy fake Chinese silver? How you doing everybody? Stacking Stormtrooper. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing better than I am. As many of you have already seen, I have COVID-19. So I'm in isolation in my bedroom, which is the reason why I am doing an unboxing <laughs> on the floor of my bedroom. So anyhow, I do happen to have some items in here that I got from China. A lot of people are a little bit nervous in buying uh, silver items and gold as well from China, and uh, understandably so, right? There's just nothing but counterfeit knockoffs and, and things of that nature that a lot of people get either on eBay or uh, from people uh, either on Craigslist or different Facebook groups or what have you. So it's very difficult to buy items um, that are real, especially if they are sourced in China. So there are ways to avoid getting some fakes from China, and I'm going to share that with you right now. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to unbox this. Um, I don't believe this is from China, uh, obviously United States Postal Service. Um, I believe this is from AppMax. In fact, let me just double check. Uh, in fact, I'm not entirely sure. This might actually be from Monarch Precious Metals. Um, this box here is from China, and I'm going to get into that in a little bit. And you see I have some equipment set up here, so that way I can verify whether or not these items are real or fake. I uh, have the scale, have the Sigma Metalytics machine. So uh, for now, I'm just going to put the scale right over here, and I'm going to open this up. Just bear with me. Um, but yeah, so I, uh, you know, as I'm opening this up, I found out the other day that I have COVID. So typically I do all these unboxings in my office and, um, because I am isolated in my bedroom, um, I cannot leave here for another seven days. Today, the filming of this video, it is February 8th, the day after Super Bowl Sunday. Hope you guys enjoyed watching that. That was actually pretty interesting seeing all these different uh, paper cutouts uh, side by side to like real actual people. It was, it was kind of funny to see. Um, I have my packing slip here. Let me just get that out of the way. All right, so I'm pretty sure, in fact, is this from Monarch Precious Metals? Yes, it is. Okay. Uh, by the way, guys, Monarch Precious Metals, they are very, very quick with their shipping, and um, I find their prices to be actually uh, pretty competitive uh, as it relates to the rest of the online bullion dealers. So if you're looking for a uh, solid company, I would recommend Monarch Precious Metals. I've purchased a lot of items from them in the past. So here we got a lot of stuff. It doesn't look like a lot, but it is. Um, this is stuff that I wanted to source for the auctions, which are on Wednesdays, although this week I probably won't be doing an auction. Um, but what did I get here? Uh, very cool. They actually packed this up real nice. Um, let me get the Sigma Metalytics machine up here and get that into position. Um, and we'll see how these all test out. So I did end up getting a lot of um, hand poured and machined items. Um, so Monarch Precious Metals, one of the nice things about them is that they not only have, uh, you know, like coins and things like that, but they do have a lot of uh, neat precious metals items that are like hand poured and or machined. So for example, right here, we've got the uh, one ounce, um, I forget the name of this bar, actually, hold on a second. What is the name of this thing? Is this like the Cleopatra or something? This is the Egyptian Relic Bars, which is a very popular series. A lot of people like that stuff. This is the one ounce uh, Egyptian god. Okay, so this is Anubis, um, which is the god of death. Uh, so that is actually really, really cool. Uh, let's get that. There we go. God of death. Turn this over. So it looks like an ancient relic, how they treated this and they antiqued it. Very, very cool. So um, let's just get the Sigma Metalytics machine going here. Now the poured stuff and machine stuff sometimes doesn't test exactly as it um, as you would expect that it would. You know, coins typically test a lot easier on here uh, than like poured items. Um, you might have to get the Pro. Let's see here. So this is so three nines fine pure. Let's check this one out. Depending on where you place it can determine whether or not this bar will fall within the bracket. It's kind of hard to see right now, but it falls within the bracket. So we got those items. And then I ended up getting these, which were also really cool. Um, I kind of want to not rip the bag, but uh, well, whatever. Let's just 
cut that open. Now these, I believe, are the half ounce, uh, yep, these are the half ounce ultra high relief Egyptian cat goddess um, bestet. This, oh, actually, these are really cool. Feels like treasure, kind of. Listen to that. I might end up having to get more of these. Um, these are actually really awesome. Uh, let's just put these on there. Three nines, fine. These are all going to come up real. Uh, three nines, fine. Actually, I, I kind of like these. I kind of want to get more of them. It, it feels like, like I said, it kind of feels like treasure. I know a lot of people in the stacking community, they've got silver uh, bullion, like poured items in different treasure chests. Um, I never really felt the need for it, but this is actually, this is actually a little bit different. This is really, really cool. Um, all right, let's put those to the side there. What else did I end up getting? Oh, this is actually, <laughs> this is actually pretty cool here too. Um, this is like, uh, it reminds me of Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, those of you that don't know, I was born in 79, um, so I'm a child of the 80s, and Killer Clowns from Outer Space was either late 80s, very early 90s. Uh, this is two Troy ounces. They come in different colors. This is like the Insane Clown. Um, what is this thing called here? This is the Evil Clown. And these are slightly colorized. They come with a really cool uh, gift bag. Um, so I just thought this was really neat. So this will probably end up showing up on a future auction. Uh, actually, it tested positive there. Positive. <laughs> COVID. Tested uh, legit there. What was this now? Oh, this is the Sasquatch. Okay. These are cool. These are the half ounce Sasquatch uh, rounds. Um, you guys have seen these. They have like the two ounce Sasquatch bars. But let me open this up here. Bear with me. All right. So this is the half ounce Sasquatch. Put that on there. And like I said, three nines. Oh, it has like a magnet. It feels magnetic. That's kind of weird. There's like a magnet. Let me see. Unless I'm imagining things. No, there's a magnet on this. Why is there a magnet put onto this thing? I guess you could put it up on a fridge. That's interesting. And now I don't have the wands here, so I can't test it on the other side. Um, let me hit run calibrate again. Three nines fine, run calibrate. Maybe this magnet is putting it. Now this is like glued on there. There we go. It's it's pure, um, but that's weird. So you can put this on your uh, on your fridge or whatever. That's uh, that's really cool. I didn't know that these had magnets like kind of like glued onto the back. So these are real. Let's put these off to the side. Look at that. That's so, I've never. That's the first time I've seen something like that. Got some more Egyptian themed poured items. Uh, let's see, what is this one here? I got some smaller quarter ounces, and this is probably the quarter ounce. Uh, I feel like I'm gonna slice my finger. They they do a really good job in um, packaging their items. So let's just get this open here. And if you guys hear my kids screaming in the background, don't mind me. Sorry that I'm, let's get, let's get this. What is, what is this? These are the quarter ounce world style Egyptian King Tut with the pyramid. Also again, feels like treasure. I kind of want to now start collecting this stuff and get like a, um, a, a tre like a treasure chest. All right. So these are all. Again, I do this with a lot of the silver that I get, even though Monarch Precious Metals is really, really uh, reputable. Um, I, I, I do this with basically all the items that I get, just to be sure. Um, but yeah. Oh man, see, now I bought this stuff for selling it on the auction, and now I kind of don't want to. And these are the uh, quarter ounce Old World Style King Tut uh, as well. Oh, sorry, these are the 10th ounce Queen Nefertiti. Let me uh, try to cut this open without slicing my finger. Okay. 
So these are the 10th ounce Nefertiti's. I just, they feel awesome. This is a really good product. Uh, I kind of want to get more. This is really, really cool. Look at all of those. So this is the one tenth ounces. I got a whole bunch of these. Um, being that these are smaller though, these may, oh, nope. They, I was going to say these might require the wand. Um, so you get the, you get the gist here, right? Um, likelihood of any of these being fake is slim to none. These are all testing real. Um, like I said, Monarch Precious Metals is a very reputable, reputable company. So uh, I'm going to just keep doing this. You could feel free to fast forward if you want, or you want to just continue to hear me ramble on. Let's put this off to the side. It looks like treasure down there. Um, I know you guys want to see the... Uh, Chinese silver in the box. So like I said, just skip forward a minute or so and, and then we'll get to that. But I'm going to finish doing this. A lot of people that watch my auctions, they want to see if the stuff is real. Although I don't think any of them ask other silver channels to uh, verify if stuff is real. Um, I've been doing the auctions for over a year now, uh, maybe a year and a half. I'm probably one of the older uh, auctions now. You see so many uh, on YouTube. So let's crack into this box of uh, stuff from China. Now, I bought this from, uh, from LPM. LPM is a reputable company, guys. A lot of people are unsure about them, but I will tell you, I've purchased a lot of things from them, and uh, they are a reputable company. They are very similar to, I would say, are on par with our uh, Atmex here, right? They are a very large bullion distributor. Um, I'm just cutting this off camera here because I don't want to slice into into myself here hang on a second let me just cut right down without um just cutting it down one second guys okay there we go just sliced it all the way down there they do a lot with their um packaging some libertads i think that's it all right so uh, i got a lot of stuff from them here let's check this out um I'm going to open up this bigger pouch first. The way I'm doing this with uh, the tripod in front of me on, sitting on the floor, it's not like the, the best unboxing. This is something that you'd see amateur hour on like a small YouTube channel. Um, just starting out and stacking, you know, some random person named Josh Silver <laughs> Josh Silver Stacker. All right, let's see what we got here. Ooh, capsules. Oh, all right. Oh, we got the uh, 2021 Morbidly Obese Panda. All right, we got a lot of stuff here. Um, and then we got the Libertad Proofs. Check that out, guys, the Libertad Proofs. Um, we got, how many of these did I get? Three? Did I buy three Libertad? Four. I don't remember buying four Libertad Proofs. Um, these have quite a premium on them. Uh, the ox, the redback spider. I'm going to keep this in my collection. I had sold one and kind of regretted it, so got one back. And uh, the great white. Let's check these out, all right? Let's, uh, let's get this running. All right, so we're looking for three nines fine. The, the bull, sh or bull shark, great white is real. Colossus is real. Get another Colossus on here. Real. The moose are real. Let's get the kookaburra. This is the 2021 kookaburra. Um, that is real. This is the Terra. Terra is real. The Redback Spider, real. And we got the 2021. Everything is testing real. So the point of this is I want to show you guys that if you do business with a reputable company like LPM, uh, you will get real silver, okay? Uh, it's really when you get into the um, eBay sellers and things like that that you have to be careful. Also, when you go to uh, a different pawn shop or stores or local coin shops, you do have to uh, have, like I would say, a trained eye um, when it comes to buying stuff. Sometimes you can just tell it's fake just by looking at it. And then lastly, uh, what did we get here? Oh, the Somali elephant. So let's just put that on there. All right. So guys, um, as you can see, real silver, uh, LPM is a real company. So you should be able to buy with confidence, not worry. 
And, uh, you know, just uh, like I said, you have to just do your diligence, your due diligence when it comes to the companies that you do business with. Um, LPM has a reputable uh, uh, track record, so you could do business with them without worrying. Um, so I do recommend LPM. Other companies that might exist, I'm not entirely sure, so I would maybe stay clear of them. But you should be able to buy with confidence from LPM. And uh, it doesn't hurt for you to get one of these uh, machines as well. Sigma Metalytics. These go for around 700, 750. You could also weigh the stuff too. If stuff shows up as being fake, you could weigh stuff on the scale to test it. But you, um, like I said, you should feel confident buying from LPM. Let me know if you've purchased from LPM down below and uh, let me know if you have any questions about any of this silver or um, my, my experiences buying it. And I just want to quickly thank these elite channel supporters. And if you haven't become a channel member, please check out the awesome perks and join today. With that, I'm the Stacking Stormtrooper. Check out these videos. Until next time, long live the Empire.